Hello, everybody. Welcome to Digium Live. My name is Brian Ferguson, and I am your host. Uh, today, we will be talking to one of Digium's um, valued customers and one of our um, top resellers in the country, um, just about a project that they work together to solve some problems for them. And uh, we'll walk through that timeline to to see what the benefits were, what kind of challenges they overcame, um, so that. Uh, um, others can benefit from their experiences. So I would like to introduce Warren Rogers from Quabbin Wire and Cable. Uh, Warren, welcome. Thank you. And um, also we have Matthew Hilton from Acuity, um, who's one of our um, the best digital partners that we have in the country. So uh, welcome, Matthew. Good morning, Brian. All right, so let's start with you, Warren. If you could just introduce yourself and tell us what you do and what uh, a little bit about your company. Sure. Um, I'm the network manager at uh, Quabbin Wire and Cable. Uh, we manufacture low voltage bulk cable uh, that uh, gets used in networking applications, automotive applications, and uh, general alarm systems and, and fire alarm systems. Okay. And Matthew, how about you? Sure. I'm a senior uh, voice engineer as well as a uh, sales engineer for Acuity Technologies. Uh, we've been in business since 1988. We provide uh, complete IT solutions, uh, one of which is voice over IP technologies. Okay, great. So, um, Warren, um, let's kind of start at the beginning. What kind of things were, what kind of prompted you to look for a new phone system? Were you ch facing any particular challenges, your old system not doing what you wanted to do? What was going on? Uh, we had an aging uh, PBX system that had been in place for about 10, 15 years. Uh, and it was time to upgrade that system, uh, so we were looking at uh, a couple options to stay with a regular PVX or to go to a, a VoIP system. We wanted something that was a little more flexible that we could manage in-house. Uh, traditional PVX systems were a little difficult. Uh, no one would allow us to do any of the maintenance on them, so you, know, you always had to call for ad moves, changes. So um, we just needed to, to find a new system. Okay. And what um, particular, what system was it you were replacing? Do you remember? An Iwatsu. Iwatsu. Okay. And um, were there any particular features that your employees were looking for that they didn't have, or was it all administration things in the background? Uh, it was more administration and background stuff, uh, setting up our own IVRs, setting up uh, uh, the voicemail and round-robin applications, uh, if we were to use those. Uh, also, we have a remote office in Illinois, so uh, a voice over IP allows us to uh, give them a couple phones as well. Okay, great. So um, tell us about what the evaluation process looked like. Who did you, who, did you, or who were you looking at, and what kind of things were you looking for? Uh, we looked at a couple local vendors uh, that took care of uh, PBX systems. We looked at Cisco. Um, systems as well, uh, and then uh, also with Acuity, uh, we looked at uh, a Digium solution as well, and uh, for voice over IP, that was really the only voice over IP solution we looked at. Um, once we got down to the the final process. Okay, so Matthew, how did you become involved in the project? Uh, yeah, so we had a qualified lead come in, uh, and uh, basically they they said basically what they were just told uh, you guys now, which is that they were kind of down to the wire. They knew they wanted a, a, P, a new PBX. They weren't quite sure what features they would take advantage of or utilize. Um, but we went through our kind of standard sales pitch about all the value add that Digium can bring to the table, uh, namely that all the features are included. Um, and when we do that, it allows the customer to make uh, more informed choices, we think, in that they don't have to worry about paying extra for something they don't know if they need right away or not. Um, and so I think once we laid that value proposition out, that all the features were included, you can go ahead and try to use new uh, call queues if you want or new uh, IVRs, um, and plus just showing them how easy the system was to use, uh, I think it became kind of a no-brainer for them that uh, this was the solution for them. Okay. And Warren, you said you looked at Cisco. What, what kind of things um, stood out from Switchbox that kind of led you away from Cisco? Uh, Cisco, it just uh, for us, it seemed a little proprietary, uh, definitely much more expensive. Uh, so that was the price point was uh, definitely a big factor for us as well. We're a smaller company, um, and uh, it just Digium or the Switchbox solution seemed easier to use. Okay, was, were there anything from a network standpoint or infrastructure changes that you had to make to kind of get ready for this change, or were you guys ready ready to go? Uh, we had a lot of things in place already. We had to replace a couple switches, um, a little more uh, for managed switching, but otherwise. Uh, the back, uh, the back, uh, the infrastructure was fine. So, okay. 
Um, so uh, how about cost savings? Do you, have you seen any cost savings to, to this point with Switchbox than you had over your old system? Uh, definitely, because uh, we were at the same time we were kind of in the process of moving some offices around, uh, so some people were getting relocated. We were having a lot of um, new employees come on, so we were able to do that uh, those ad moves and changes without having to call a, a PBX vendor and have someone come in and you know charge us three four hundred dollars per per extension. So right, right, okay. Um, Matthew, were there any particular deployment challenges from your side for this particular implementation? You know, in, in, in fa as far as installation went, things went pretty smoothly actually at Quabbin. Um, you know, one of the difficulties that we always find is that mostly uh, a lot of people that aren't experienced with voice or voice over IP in particular, uh, they don't quite realize how much the network impacts their installation and their ongoing uh, satisfaction for the system. So it's actually part of the reason why Acuity got into the voice over IP space was uh, we were doing a lot of network changes for people that were putting in phone systems um, that really had no idea that the network was the underlying uh, structure to make that happen eff uh, efficiently. So. Uh, really, that's always the biggest challenge. Uh, as a consultant, you never really know if you're going to go into a clean network or a dirty network, or really how much uh, how much administration work you're going to have into that network. So, uh, from this case, it was actually pretty straightforward. The network was pretty uh, pretty well put together from a, from the get go, um, and we had all the access we needed. So there weren't too many challenges actually. Uh, Warren actually had a great game plan in terms of what he wanted the PBX system to look like, uh, what new IVRs they wanted to have, what new call queues they wanted to implement. Uh, and so, really, this is actually probably one of the, the, the better, quicker installs. Uh, I think Warren would agree. Things went pretty smoothly. Okay, good. So, uh, Warren, let's talk about your users for a minute. Are there any particular features about Switchbox since they've had it that they're particularly enjoying from a, just an end-user perspective? Um, we do have a lot of users, especially the engineering department, that actually forwards their calls to their cell phones because uh, they're always on the shop floor. So. Uh, this way they don't miss calls. Uh, and then we also have a lot of users that use the email notification that they have a voicemail because they're rarely at their desk. So that just alerts them to uh, voicemails. Right. All right. So, Warren, if you had to, um, if you were giving any advice to people who are out looking for a new phone system today, what kind of advice would you give them as far as what to look for, how to get ready, just in general, based on your experience with uh, this last deployment? Uh, definitely needs of use. Uh, we're, as I mentioned, we're a small company. Um, we have two people in the IT department, so we need something that's easy for us to use. Um, it was low cost and uh, definitely easy of use was the biggest thing for us. Uh, and it's also a system that you know, there's a lot of information about. There's a lot of people that know it. Um, so, it, you know, we're not locked into a one group that uh, can service us. Right. Okay, and for you, Matthew, if you're giving advice to somebody out there that's looking for a new system, what kind of things would you tell them um, on to get ready and what to look for? Yeah, I mean, uh, like I sort of mentioned already, the network is obviously the biggest component that I think a lot of customers are, are sometimes ill-prepared for. I mean, one of the reasons we've been a, a partner of Digium's as long as we have is just because it is so simplistic. Um, you really don't need to be a, a telephony person in order to, to maintain the system. Uh, and I know there's a lot of other competitors that are out there that that say they make things easier. And you know, compared to a traditional telephone system, uh, like Warren's alluded to in the past, you know, where you'd have to call the manufacturer in for even something simple as a move out or change. Um, you know, one of the things for me when I'm looking at voice systems is really just how easy is it to use, because um, most of them say they have it, but you really need to know what you're doing in the telep telephony space in order to actually do you know everything. So for me, the biggest thing is ease of use. Um, and really, the, like I said earlier, the fact that you can have all the features included and not have to worry about, oh, I, I might want to try a call queue, but I'm afraid of, of how much it's going to cost just to try it. You know, having that flexibility to be able to go out and just try it and get your value add back that way um, is really beneficial. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, that does it for today's uh, episode. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for the great information. I think a lot of people will find it very valuable. Um, and so I appreciate your time today, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that's it for today's episode of Digium Live. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining us today. And uh, join us next time on the show, um, Digium Live.